So nkola audio eno nayo manyi it's one of those audios zo kolanga to wandi ya gadde jikola atenga to ina na motivation yo na behind it. But again, nsaze wonji kole. I want you to watch this clip. Manya ba singa banji muajirabie. But you watch this clip. Oyo, I think he's our grandfather. If I can say that. Jeno Moses Ali. He's 82 years old. Now that age is a blessing for anyone mu Uganda ya lero to make 82 that's a blessing that's why this man needs to be respected with all regards to me Jeno Moses Ali as a person nga yo muntu va ku Uganda mu abadenga mukulembeze for a long time ne ye ngo muntu wo tunulira career ye he's a success already he has seen the bad and the good but the longest time of his life he has lived a successful life he has lived through the ranks wealth and so much more he's 82 he's a retired military officer currently he's the second deputy prime minister with Wogeda, ye second deputy prime minister. Eranga, ye deputy leader of government business, mo parliament. Mumbera jari mwe, abadi mo parliament, e banga, e duwe dira kodala, yasoko kuingira parliament, nga kule mbera East Moyo County, in Ajman district, yasoko dalo kujam parliament, mo 2001, mo 2006, ya losing e chifecho, ne na akoma wo, mo 2011, mpaka we togeda dakati, ya achali, member of parliament, o East Moyo County management district. Jeno Moses Ali wechija mkulification ze, toso wala kuzida utinga, wa kuzino lo abasajia jivari funa muna kuzino almost wali mkule mbeze lo 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 lo. Ne aina degree mwamateka, wakufa makere university aina diploma in legal practice wakufa mwalo developing center he holds qualification from military education institutions mu Uganda mu Israel, ni mu United Kingdom wengugami enti qualification ze you cannot doubt he's a qualified person Jeno Moses Ali, yali involved Moku e ya overthrowing President Milton Oboti in 1971. Irangi yoku ye ya Yid Amin Dada mwukule mbeze. Irangi in that period ranks ze ze yongi la dalo ukulinya Amin wa yalinga ya kule mbela Uganda. Jeno Moses Ali yali Minister of Finance mu government ya Yid Amin. Yafuno obuzibu diye msajja ayasoka ukuganizinga Islamic Charity mu Uganda. Irangi that Islamic Charity ya mufula very popular especially ukuva mubasidam. Habantu habali ba muagala habali ba anji dala mubasidam. Ura popularity jiali afunye Amini ya tandika okumotia. Ila mwezi gwa 1978. Amini ya kula meeting mukampala na mwogele libigambo yali binji nyo. Ngawe yali ngatali loyo. Na agamba nti he was involved in mismanaging Bank of Uganda. Nti yali corrupt. Ila ngalia mishandling Muslim Supreme Council funds. Ila ngali tagubele na mateka ga government. Amini yali kolebio. Sinti biyali bitufu. Na yoro kuba yali atidi obu wagizini popularity. Moses Sali jiali atanzo kufuna. Waita akasi Seda katono nyo, amini inga mazokola speech heyo, moze sali ya managinga, okudu kamu kampala. Uosoma ku, pia wandiki buwa, chigambi buwanti, he got a private car, nadu kamu kampala, nadu kile wabe mwest nile. Irange yo, a group of people attacked him, ngabagala kumuta, after gunfire, ira ya managinga na escaping. Even another assassination attempt failed. Moze sali ya gambanti, the second assassination ya li organizing buwa by the Uganda Army Commander by the time. Mwezi guo munana, 1978, amini ya goba Moses Ali. Ila ba tegi kaba saji okumuku wata, but those people were killed. Habari ba galo okumuku wata. However, by that time, regime ya amini na yo, ya li ya liku vaji of collapse. Ila eventually, it collapsed during the Uganda-Tanzania War of 1978 to 1979. Government ya amini malo collapsinga, Jeno Moses Ali ya dukila e Southern Sudan, na Afuka refugee, mchifechi iti wa Nimole. In 1980, Jeno Moses Ali ya li ya maze okura o echibi nje chiche, echaba yekira. Nga chiti wa Uganda National Rescue Front. Yali muzibu nyo mkudumi le chibi njecho. Le chibi njecho nga chari kati atichiru wanyisa government ya obote. Or obote nga akumye u gubaita obote tu. By the time, already Moses Ali yali abika minze warlord. Nga yungu government yali muzibu nyo ya taki nga 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 avamu Southern Sudan. Iran campaign ze mbia wandiki waziga manti. He waged the most successful gorilla campaign against Obote's men. Because of the influence, ne attack zeze ya kolanga. Eventually, jukila ne jeno yoweli. Museveni yali alo wanyisa obote at the time. 
batu kakunzi kitizganya jeno yoweli kaguta mseven ni Moses Ali nebe gata ama je wabaluwa njiba Moses Ali nebe gata ku National Resistance Army later on ea fuka Uganda People's Defense Force UPDF utalu nga luwe de 1986 jeno yoweli mseven ya londa Moses Ali na amuteka kukuba major jeno a position that made him very powerful in the new government and in the military chiga mbibu anti Moses Ali he became highly influential and quite wealthy mrijimu ya jeno yoweli mseven Moses Hali ya rising up to the position of first deputy prime minister na kugambi enti ya soko kuingi ya parliament mu 2001 ila jeno tiba habura ya mara na mpromoti nga kubwa lieutenant jeno na kuruwa ilwa kuminasa tu march 2003 ila na kubuli dead anti ya losing hfecho mu 2006 ni mu 2011 ya kumao already by that time he was 72 years old the next year Moses Hali was promoted to the rank of jeno mu UPDF na inga abadi ni positions in the cabinet mu government ya yu walitiba habulua kuva 1986 so diru yonna jebakola when they were still fighting obote it was a good deal for moses hali katinzija kumulama lwachi nkoze odien omsajja gomulaba ali mo condition yeyo he is the first deputy prime minister and he is the deputy leader of government business in parliament we to get sawa zino iranga imubaka wa parliament achikirira abantu ba east moyo county in ajumani district omsajja gola bimo ka clip ako njagala tubere honest njagala tubere honest without any bias without any disrespect contribution chijaina wetuogerere sawa zino mu condition njali mu chichi chakola mu chifeche echo bwa deputy prime minister chichi chakola mu chifecho cholaba echo bwa deputy leader of government business mu parliament era chichi chenyini cha chikirira abantu be east moyo county mu condition yeyo njali mu abantu be bachikirira bachya mufunamu obaye yafunamu because anyway ebitiwa bichaliwo no msala guchaji let us be honest chichi cha chikirira abantu mu condition yo msajjo yo njali mu mu condition njali mu what more value is he still adding to our country or to the people that he represents and when you talk about deputy leader of government business in the parliament now that is Uganda there is an impact in that position that affects the whole country not only the people of East Moyo county mu condition yo njali mu njagalo mbulire chichi oba value jimbulire ja cha gattako wadi batugamba old age is experience me personally i do not see the value anymore but i told you i consider his career as a success and a blessing but i don't see the value anymore apart from jeno moses ali embarrassing himself in public looking at such clips really you feel the embarrassment now he's not only embarrassing himself he's embarrassing his family he's embarrassing the people that he represents in the parliament and he's embarrassing the all world leadership in Uganda but you have served your country for years you started serving before you were born why do you have to embarrass yourself at this old age jeno moses ali you deserve to be in retirement looking back and reminiscing in your career what you would have done what you shouldn't have done but at the same time being grateful for the blessing of life at the age of 82 otula muri mutima ni webuza what more am i still adding on what value am i still bringing on the table just a sobo de kulete je miaka jona if you in perfect health okay banange abalaba jeno moses ali mu abakuru omusajja mugambe ko people of east moyo tell your leader to stop embarrassing himself his family and the people that he represents and the word leadership this man deserves to be in retirement as a country we also want leaders who add on value not embarrassment i'm not saying this because i'm a critic of the current regime because i'm in opposition no chino nawo awagira regime chino nawo awagira it is not about being on opposition or supporting nrm no bulumwachi daban this is wrong this man deserves to be in retirement he cannot add any value temuina chemutugamba regardless stop him embarrassing the man the regime stop embarrassing this man if he cannot retire himself retire him he deserves to be home enjoying what he has done because i don't see any value that a man in this kind of shape is adding on to the leadership of this country if i offended anyone in this audio i'm sorry peace